This video is sponsored by Cloud Wheels. Big juicy wheels that soak up vibrations and keep you safe from bumps and cracks. Check out Cloud Wheels and use the code eSkateHQ to get $10 off your purchase. Alright, we've all heard about Meepo Board. Meepo Board is the OG in bringing us affordable options for electric skateboards, and since 2017, it has been amongst the top choices for those who are looking for affordable electric skateboards. While their current bestseller, Meepo V4, aka Meepo Shuffle, was just released 10 months ago, Meepo decided to give us an update with the V4S, aka Shuffle S. While Meepo is known to frequently refresh their lineups, it doesn't necessarily mean they make huge updates every time. So what's new with the Meepo V4S? Let's get right through it. The Meepo V4S is made up of 8-ply Canadian maple and 1-ply fiberglass. The board only has a mild flex to it, but the deck does offer a pretty deep and aggressive concave design. This definitely helps in securing leg placement for a more secure ride. The deck also has a slight rocker profile, which we're a fan of. This form made the deck feel closer to the ground. Looking back, the previous Meepo V4 board has an orange, toyish looking color scheme. The Meepo V4S or Shuffle S did an upgrade and took a more elegant approach which we really like, especially on the graphics beneath the deck. As for the electronic speed controller, the V4S uses the new Lingyi ESC with a push to start feature. It features four speed modes and four braking modes that can be adjusted separately. It does provide a smooth acceleration to the board, but is it as smooth as a Hobbywing ESC? We'll talk about that later on. The Meepo Shuffle S uses dual 540 watt hub motors, which is interesting as the previous Meepo V4 uses dual 620 watt hub motors. Meepo claims that it's a necessary sacrifice as the new motor design allows the V4s to use big 105mm donut wheels. These are clones of the famous cloud wheels that significantly reduce road vibrations. Is the power affected though? We'll find out later on. Meepo claims that the motors can deliver us a maximum speed of 28.5 miles per hour or 46 kilometers per hour. During our test, we managed to reach a top speed of 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour. A praiseworthy feat considering that this is a budget board. What's here to stay are the 45 degree shredder downhill trucks. These trucks are known to be stable rather than carvy. Now let's go to the batteries. The Meepo V4S has two options for batteries, a normal 4 amp hour 144 watt hour battery with a marketed range of 10 miles or 16 kilometers, and an extended range version of 288 watt hour battery with a marketed range of 18 miles or 29 kilometers. We received the basic version of the board, and our heavyweight 95 kilogram rider managed to reach a maximum distance of 6 miles or 10 kilometers out of the 10 miles or 16 kilometer marketed range. It is nowhere near the marketed range, but as usual, weight and speed play a huge factor in achieving the maximum possible range of a board. Meepo also admits that using 105mm wheels will sacrifice the range by a bit, and they insist that everyone should get the ER version for more range. On a related note, the battery features fast charging. You can reach a full charge in just 30 minutes by purchasing a separate 8A fast charger for the board. And that wraps the specs of the V4S, so without further ado, let's see how all of those turn out in the riding experience. Let's go! From the get-go, the Meepo V4S is a budget board on steroids. Riding around the V4S is super strong, so I guess it does live up to the well-known Meepo reputation of delivering a bit of punch when it comes to acceleration and braking. The controls are still smooth and are not entirely aggressive, but beginners should be careful when riding the board for the first time. The board can catch you off guard with its punchy acceleration. With that said, this new Ling Yi ESC did a good job of delivering a smooth ride with the board, but it still falls a bit behind the WoW Go 2S Max's silky smooth 12S Hobbywing ESC. Once you get used to it, we are pretty sure that a lot of riders out there would appreciate the punchiness of this board. It turns out that the drop in motor wattage number doesn't really affect the actual performance that much, since the V4 already has a pretty overkill acceleration power. The deck is without a doubt the charming point of the V4S. 
It is nice to stand on with the lower ride height. The board's concave is also very easy to feel while riding and secures your feet at all speed modes. The board is not flexible during rides, which highlights stability when riding at higher speeds. The 105mm donut wheels definitely did their job at absorbing road vibrations, especially on rough roads. But as we all know, hub motors are still hub motors, and when the road gets worse, you would still feel the vibrations traveling through your spine. If you are allergic to road vibrations, there is always the option to spend extra and upgrade to a bigger 125mm Cloud Wheels Donuts. Big and soft means you don't feel it as much. The vibration, I mean. Cloud Wheels are now available not only for belt and hub boards. There is even a 165mm all-terrain version of it now. You can check it out by visiting their website with the link in the description below. As always, Meepo's 45 degree shredder trucks are biased towards stability, while 50 degree trucks, such as the Poseidon trucks on the WowGo 2S Max, would be more carvy than stable. With that said, it's a nice pair of trucks. While the shredder trucks do not rise to the level of branded trucks such as the Caliber 2 or Paris, they are definitely just as good as the other proprietary trucks found among affordable e-skates. The trucks are decent for carving, have a good return to the center, and are absolutely stable to ride at top speed. So here comes the verdict. For a board retailing at $500 US dollars and is now priced lower at $419 US dollars with Meepo's current sale, the V4S is a good board with a pretty great design and polish. The 105mm donut wheels add great value to the board and makes riding on rough roads forgiving. The range of the standard battery version is nothing to be praised, but you do have the option to upgrade to ER. If you are looking for a budget board that's comfortable to ride and has punchy acceleration and braking, then this is definitely the board for you. The Meepo V4S is a great board for those who are thirsty for speed. As always, if you are looking to buy a Meepo, or actually any e-skate, be sure to use our affiliated discount code with the link below. It will help you get a small monetary discount and helps us out too. You'll also be tagged as an Electric Skateboard HQ customer and probably be treated better. Ride safe, guys.